Coach, can you hear us? I can. Okay. Uh, we're ready whenever you are. Okay. So, listen, my hat goes off to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the job that they did. I know I haven't had a chance to address you uh, since the accident happened that my son was involved in. My heart goes out to all those that were involved in the accident, in particular, the family with the little girl who's fighting for her life. Um, and listen, I, it's a tough situation. I can't comment on it uh, any more than, than what I am here. So the questions that you have, I'm gonna have to uh, turn those down at the time, but just from a human standpoint, man, my, my heart bleeds for, for everybody involved in that. So um, as far as this game goes, they played better than we did. And that's my responsibility. I, I, and I take full responsibility for it. Um, you, you just can't, you can't do the things that we did um, uh, and, and beat a good football team like that, in particular at this level. So with that, time's yours. All right, first we'll go to Herbie T.O.B., Kansas City Star. Hey, Coach, good evening. All right, Herbie. Eight penalties for 98 yards, I believe, or 95 yards in the first half. I mean, such uncharacteristic play from you guys. What did you say to your team with those penalties, and how much did that turn the tide of the game, in your opinion? Well, you, you can't have that. I mean, you can't have penalties, uh, not that many. I think we had 10 of them total. Uh, and that you're taking, you're taking uh, space away from yourself, either defensively or offensively. And so, you know, that it is uncharacteristic and it's too bad it happened today for sure. Next we'll go to Adam Teicher, ESPN. Hi Andy. Um, you guys had pieced it together pretty well with that offensive line up till up until tonight. Was it just a case tonight where Tampa's front was was pretty tough and you guys just couldn't handle them? Is that all this was tonight? I don't want to tell you they're not tough, um, but I tell you, I, I could have done a better job of putting our guys in a, a better position. They fought their tail off. The guys never gave up. I mean, these are champions. And and uh, just the fact that they were able to get themselves back to this fight, you know, fighting like crazy to get here. Um, it was a bad day to have a bad day, but um, I, I'm not going to lay it on the, the offensive line. We, when, when we lose, we all lose together on this. All right, next we'll go to Sam Mellinger, Kansas City Star. Hey, Andy, um, I, maybe this is along the lines of what people have been asking you, and I realize the game just ended, but we haven't seen you guys struggle like that offensively, not, not get a touchdown since Patrick's been your quarterback. Just how much of this was execution for your part, and how much of this was something maybe the Bucs were doing that, um, you know, just, just wrecked what you were trying to do? Yeah, listen, Todd had a good plan, but um, like I said, I – I could have done a whole lot better putting these guys in a better position to, to make plays. I mean, you know, the, my guys busted their tail and, um, you know, we just, we didn't, you know, it just didn't work for us. So, but give credit to Todd for, for the job that he did. He got us. All right, next we'll go to Aaron Ladd, KSHB. Coach, appreciate the time. I know the motto all year was run it back and going back to the title game, but I wonder leaving this game, if there's a better appreciation for just how hard it is to, to repeat as champion. Well, yeah, that, it's, uh, uh, it's tough. I mean, that's a tough thing to even to get back to this game. It's tough. Um, but that's what this is all about. And it just tell, shows you the heart of these guys um, and, and what they've done uh, to put ourselves in a position to at least have an opportunity to do this. We've got to play better. We've got to use it as motivation to help get ourselves back again. Next, we'll go to Diana Rossini, ESPN. Andy, um, I know you addressed the situation with your son, but um, over the last few days since it's happened, did it have any effect on you as the head coach of the Chiefs preparing for the Super Bowl? Well, I... I'd be lying if I didn't tell you my heart bleeds for the, the people involved in it. I, I mentioned that Diana. And so, uh, but again, we had put the game plan in the week before. And so the, the distraction, 
wasn't a distraction as far as the game plan goes. That that was already in, and kind of how we were going to work with it and, and go forward. So, I would tell you, you know, I mean, anything. That's a it's a loaded question, Diana. I, I uh, from a human standpoint, yeah, it uh, it's uh, it's a tough one. Uh, from a football standpoint, two separate things. From a football standpoint, uh, you know, that wasn't. I don't think that was uh, the problem. Next, we'll go to Sam McDowell, Kansas City Star. Hey, Andy. Um, I know you probably only got a really brief time to do this, but I'm wondering what your message was to your guys after the game and what it will be in these next few days. Yeah, well, I had an opportunity to be with them. So uh, they were all in there for the most part. And, um, you know, just uh, uh, that you battled your tail off all year, stand tall. Um, that that's important and, and keep your eyes looking up and forward. And so, um, we, we didn't play our best game today, uh, but we're going to get back on it and get ourselves ready for next year. All right. Next we'll go to Matt Derrick. Hey coach. I, I know you already have a healthy respect for Patrick's toughness, um, but tonight in a game like this where things weren't really going his way and, and he was taking a lot of hits, does, does this say anything more? Do you think this proves anything about him and just his mental and physical toughness in a game like this? No, to the last uh, snap, he, he was trying to win the football game. And so um, uh, that should never be questioned. No, you're right. All right, next we'll go to Jory Epstein, USA Today. Hi, Andy. Leonard Fournette was a threat in both the run and the passing game today. What was so difficult about stopping him for your defense? Yeah, you know what? He did a nice job. He, uh, they used him in the run game, and then and he ran hard, and they used him um, in the play pass game as a check down. So, and he did a nice job with that. So, I, you know, uh, we, we need to do a better job of making sure we're in position to cover him. I mean, but Listen, the kid, uh, give the kid credit. He did a nice job. All right, next we go to Jason Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. How you doing, Mr. Reed? Good. Hey, uh, uh, coach. Hard, hard question yeah. answer, right? <laughs> Fair enough, Coach. My apologies, Mr. Reed. Um, the linebackers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they were swarming today. Uh, do you think the biggest issue was the lack of running game early or the fact that um, Mahomes couldn't get the deep plays going due to the fact that the secondary and the linebackers were just so fluid? Yeah, I've, I could have done a better job of helping him out uh, with the run game. And, um, you know, I, I could have given him more opportunities uh, where we could have run the football. Next, we'll go to Santiago Tomasi, NFL Chile. Thanks, Mr. Reed, for your time. I would like to ask you about uh, your defense. Uh, you have some problems in the first uh, half with some uh, falls. And in the second half, uh, especially in the running game, they weren't fast enough. They couldn't help, uh, stop the gaps. What do you think it can improve for the next year? Yeah, Santiago, I thought we did a nice job the, at the beginning of the game. We didn't take advantage of that as well as we could have um, offensively. And, and, um, and then there are too many snaps out on that field. We, we've got we've to do a better job of sustaining drives on offense. And that, again, when I say it's my responsibility to help our guys with that, that's my responsibility. Next, we'll go to Jarrett Bell. Hey, hey, Coach, uh, I, I've yeah. got to ask you the proverbial did you see it coming question. When you think about your preparations for the week and the, the situation with your son, the, the COVID situation, did you – can you can any of that explain what happened? No, I didn't see it coming at all. I thought we were going to come in and we were going to play uh, these guys right uh, uh, just like we've been playing teams and – um, and it didn't happen that way. I mean, they did a nice job. I, I give them credit on it, but I, I didn't anticipate this happening. No, I can't tell you that. 
All right, next we'll go to Brian Costello. Andy, you um, you said Todd got you tonight. What, what specifically about Todd's game plan and scheme tonight uh, worked so well against your offense? Well, I, you know, we played zone on first, second down and mixed it up a little bit on third down, and we weren't able to handle that too well. All right, Coach. All right, thank you. We're good. Thank <laughs> you.